Hey, Tony Kager here. I'm doing our uh, PWG review. And the next show I saw was PWG 10. So you can see that. And why is it called 10? It's because this was a 10th anniversary show. This was in 2013. It says 10 years and 141 events ago, P PWG held our first show. Um, and, uh, this was August 9th, 2013. So I'm guessing their first show was 2003, I guess. So this is 10. So you think it's because it's 10, it's going to be a big show. And I think it's a good card. Um, let me go over the matches. First match was the six man tag with B Boy, um, Cancer Ray, and Willie Mack versus Peter Avalon, Joey Ryan, and Ryan Taylor. Did I get this match again? My match. Okay, get three three stars and three forts. But I probably could get four stars. It's almost four stars. I like about this match, everybody in this match was awesome. Everybody brought their A game. Willie Mack, very good stuff from him. Everything he was doing in this match was awesome. Ryan Taylor, Ryan Taylor was just awesome. Peter Avon was awesome. Candace was awesome. B Boy, B Boy really impressed me. He's just an like, awesome like badass dude. Everything he does is awesome. Yeah, William Mack is really good in this match. Ryan Taylor impressed the hell out of me in this match. So, just good wrestling in this match. I forget why I didn't get four stars, but it was good. For sure. Uh, next match, uh, Brian Cage versus Anthony Nice. I forget what Brian Cage did, but Anthony Nice was so impressed with this match. He looks like so big, but he he wrestled like really good. I mean, he pulling out some really cool moves. So I guess three and stars. I thought this was a really solid match. Not not a great classic four star match, but it was definitely like better and good. It was so somewhere in the middle, like three and a half stars. Next match, uh, Fur Hooligans versus Rock and Sponsors. Um, I guess two and three four stars. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I don't like Fur Hooligans too much. Fur Hooligans is um, Rocky Romero and Alex Kozlov. And I don't know. I don't like those guys too much, and Rockets Monsters are, they're okay. They're good when they're, when they're paired with the right team, but, I don't know, this match, I, just, I don't remember much of this match, I just um, didn't really like it too much. I don't know, it's one of those matches that I just could, didn't really get into. But it was okay, it wasn't terrible or anything. What's this next match? I think this was, the, this was my worst match of the night, though. Next match, uh, Michael Elgin versus AJ. No, is that the next match? Yeah, this is the next match. Cheers. Michael Elgin versus AR Fox this is a great match. Three, three stars, three forts. I'll give it four stars. Um, just great stuff from Elgin. Probably my, one of my favorite El Elgin matches. I don't know. I'm not a big Michael Elgin fan, but he was not too bad in this match. AR Fox was great. I forget, I forget some of the spots in the match, but it was just like, a really good match. They kind of start off slow a little bit, but then. Towards the end, it was like just great. So that was a really good match. Um, next one, Giant Gargano versus Chuck T No, Giant Gargano and Chuck Taylor versus Paul London and K Brian Kendrick. Um, yeah, I was excited for this match because it was Brian Kendrick and Paul London. And then Giant Gargano was pretty cool and Chuck Taylor was okay. And what do you get? This match, three stars and one fourth. So that was okay. It was like a little bit too much comedy, I guess. Not enough for wrestling. It was it was enjoyable. Maybe I'll watch it again and give it a higher rating, but I don't know, I was somewhat disappointed. I thought this would be like really, really awesome match and it was good, but I don't know, I thought it could be better. But maybe you you'll maybe you see it, you'll think otherwise, I don't know. Then here we go. Next three matches. This is where the show like I wasn't really quite sure about the show for the first four matches. But the next three matches, um, were just awesome. Sorry with Kyle Riley and T J Perkins, I mean just an amazing like wrestling match, just technical wrestling done right, just good wrestling. Not many really high spots or anything, just like really good wrestling stuff and moves. So it's easy four star match for me. Kyle Riley, I, I haven't seen him really have any bad matches. I don't think I've ever seen him have a bad singles match yet. He had maybe you know, like one bad tag team match, and it wasn't even really that bad of a match. So anything Kyle Riley's been, and it's been really entertaining. And TJ Perkins, he he's had some good matches too. I've seen. Okay, so next one, the World Championship Freeway um, Grill Warfare match. Adam Cole, Kevin Steen, Drake Younger, 
This match was, oh uh, man, awesome, awesome. I, I don't know, I forgot what match I got, but it felt a little bit short. But it doesn't matter. This match was just an awesome, like, hardcore style matches. Um, awesome spots. Just um, for fun, one of those matches from start to finish. Just awesome. And, like, you know, I didn't, have, didn't want it to end. Just a like, very, like, very entertaining match. Um, yeah. Definitely, um, I don't, know, I don't know what I was expecting, but it like was better than I was expecting. I'm surprised how good it was. I think it wasn't really surprised, but it's not one of those matches they get to talk about that much, I don't think. I wasn't really expecting to be one of the best matches of the night it was. And on the main event, it's one the match I probably um, was looking forward to most. So the 19th anniversary show was tremendous free. Yeah, freeway Larry match. And the main, main event of this match, show 10. And another uh, really later match. Oh, by the way, the last match, they give you a match rating, I forget. It was four and a half stars. I don't know if I said it or not. Probably didn't. Well, uh, maybe I did. I, I can't remember. But the main event here. Um, here's the back, by the way, if you want to know. Let me, see, let me see if you can focus on that. Focusing? I don't think so. Yeah, I see the put. But anyway, uh, the main event was um, Young Bucks. Of course, they're like in almost every sh um, show. Versus the Dojo Bros, which was, um, who was it, Roderick Strong and David Richards, I think? Or something like that. And then you got, um, I don't know if it was David Richards. I don't know, but it was Roderick Strong, for sure. And the Inner City Machine Guns, I think, was Ricochet and uh, Rich Swan or something. But, um, yeah, um, really good match. Um, oh man, I forget some of the spots in this match, but I forget who wins too. I just remember it was just a crazy match, like awesome spots. It's good, like if you like my layer matches, you like high spots. I mean, this was like really good. But yeah, yeah, it's another four and a half star match. So two four and a half star matches on this show. Um, I don't know, one of those shows I wouldn't rank like. In the top like free favorite PWG shows, but those last two, the last three matches were like really good. Just those first four matches were like, eh. That f I mean, the six man tag matches are great, but all, like all six man tag matches are good. So really, just like maybe like um four really good matches in the show. Not bad, you know. Right for like a, if it was a WWE show, it'd be awesome. But for PWG, it's like it's like um eh. <laughs> it's amazing how this show has like three forcer matches and like it's not that impressive. I mean, it's crazy how good these matches are, and this is like not even one of my favorite shows. But ten's okay. Um, would I wouldn't know if it's my one of my top five favorite shows, but definitely I enjoyed it. Don't really regret buying it. That ladder match was really good. I love that freeway grill warfare match. You know, some some in the. Kyle Riley, another great Kyle Riley match. And I found a good Michael Elgin match, which I haven't seen much. Good Michael Elgin matches. That was actually really good. So it was like maybe five good really matches on the show. So not bad. You know, hard to find a show with five really good matches. You don't get that on WWE show, that's for sure. So, okay, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to rate this show overall, but good show. PWG 10. Might get PWG 11 someday. I don't know. But 10 was a good show. I liked it. Alright. Bye.